What is the board's role as it relates to innovation in an organization? Yeah, you know, and, and you can kind of parse it into two pieces. In one respect, it is the board's role to get out of the way. And, you know, the get out of the way part of their responsibility is to create um, safe, safe space for failure, for an understanding of the hard dollar and soft dollar costs that are necessary for um, innovation, a little bit of leeway on the on how you set do budgeting and how you do upside over budget, um, recognizing that more currently is not always better. There's a difference between optimal results and maximum results. Right. Um, but then I think there's also this sort of a, a more positive side of the board's role, which is to is which is to actually help encourage um, innovation, and that's around things like um, it, it, helping to bring kind of new and fresh perspectives. The whole reason when you look around a boardroom, it isn't just a table full of of other people in the same industry, is because ideally the the diversity of experiences helps us all helps a CEO think outside the box a little bit. So it's partly how does the board proactively help around innovation by helping to bring ideas from outside of the industry into the boardroom. And partly it's how does the board help the CEO, even if it's only in those once a quarter meetings, help the CEO take a little tiny time out from his or her day-to-day -day operational responsibility to think a little more blue sky, right? Um, you know, it's really hard. I mean, e even in our own jobs, we've been there, right? You're in the, in, in the weeds, in the weeds, in the weeds. It's really hard to pull your head up and look around and see what's down the road a mile. I think that's something a board can do, is to, is to help a CEO take a step back, take a deep breath and say, no, 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 forget about the quarter, forget about the budget, forget about you know, current day-to-day -day operations. Let's talk about what's a year down the road, three years down the road. Let's talk about what's happening over here in this industry. Let's talk about where we, you know, whether we think there's any, any potential that we get Amazoned or Ubered, and what does being Amazoned or Ubered in our industry look like? Right. There is a an interesting um, example of a company who set up an innovation committee of the board, and they decided it was a medical device organization, and so they decided that they needed all medical device or medical related uh, board members to sit on it. And they had about three members at the beginning, and then they added another non-medical director over time, and, they, they, and then they added another. And what they found out from doing it, their first thought process was, well, only those who know this industry can have a good idea, so we'll be the innovation committee. But when they added people who didn't have the same backgrounds as they did, they realized, wow, it was much more of a robust conversation around innovation in that particular industry, even though that person didn't have a medical background kind of a thing and they were able to riff off each other and ask pointed questions and come up with different ideas and so it's kind of interesting that we all think that everyone needs to have the same background to be able to be creative and think about new and different ideas and yet it's actually quite the opposite. Diversification is the first thing you do to minimize risk, right? And yet when we talk about people talent, whether it's Man the composition of the management team or the composition of the board or anything else, diversity is bad. Diversity is, is, diversity is changed, diversity is uncomfortable, diversity. Nobody ever actually talks about it as a risk mitigator, and, and, and it is. Going back to um, this example that Melissa, you're talking about the medical device company, what what is fantastic about this sort of diverse opinion that that occurs is that now you have you have that happening the, the diversity of opinion on the board but i think the board can actually even of that company could even go further and say hey we as board uh, members also have our own biases and so if they were to 
make it a point as part of that innovation committee to solicit more feedback from external stakeholders. So patients that are using those medical devices mm -hmm. and, um, and sort of researchers in academia that, that, that are tapped into uh, you know, new cutting edge to type of technology to, to deal with those same ailments that their, that are, that their medical devices you know, try to solve I, I, and bring that, not necessarily have them be members of the committee per se, but bring that knowledge into uh, the, the innovation committee. I think they, they'd also be very well, well served.